welcome to the ATCM, the emergency department. So today I will be uh, briefing you about nebulization salbutamol. As all of you know, salbutamol is a bronchodilator. So what is the mechanism of action? It is a bronchodilator. And uh, coming to the uh, pharmacokinetics of the salbutamol, it's when you are giving as nebulization, the onset of action will be less than 5 minutes and uh, the duration of its effect will be 3 to 6 hours and it is metabolized by the liver and the half life of the uh, salbutamol nebulization will be 3.8 to 5 hours it will be around 3.8 to 5 hours and it will be excreted after the 5 hours so this is the pharmacokinetics of the salbutamol. So when you have given as nebulization, you should know that within less than 5 minutes, the effects will start to appear. So now coming to the uses, mainly uh, this nebulization salbutamol will be used in cases of bronchospasm. When the patients come with acute exacerbation of bronchial asthma, acute exacerbation of COPD, when the patient is having severe bronchospasm, then we prefer giving nebulization salbutamol as its action is very fast. So usually we take uh, 1 ml, if it is 1 ml of salbutamol, it will contain 5 mg. You have to remember 1 ml contains 5 mg of salbutamol and to give the, if it is a mild to moderate, then we will be giving 2.5 mg. We will be giving 2.5 mg nebulization. That is, you will be taking 0.5 ml, 0.5 ml with equal amount of NS and then you will be nebulizing in case of mild to moderate. And uh, if it is severe exacerbation, then you can go for 1 to 2 ml you can take along with equal amount of normal saline you can nebulize and also you can give 3 times the nebulization 20 minutes apart. 20 minutes apart you will be giving 3 times the nebulization. So this is the dosage, 1 ml contains 5 mg, mild to moderate you will be giving 2.5 mg and severe you will be giving uh, 1 to 2 ml and that you will be giving 3 times 20 minutes apart you will be giving. And if the patient is having intermittent bronchospasm, you wanted to give intermittent doses, then you will be giving every 4 to 6 hours, that is Q4H you can give, Q4H or Q6H you will be giving for the intermittent doses of the salbutamol. Now next indication where you give a nebulization salbutamol is in the cases of anaphylaxis. First and foremost you have to give the adrenaline for the uh, anaphylaxis and then even then you can give after that if the effects are not subsiding then you can go ahead with the nebulization of the salbutamol. Then you will give in case of the hyperkalemia because in uh, this salbutamol can cause a shift hypokalemia. There will be a transcellular shift of the potassium. So for that in cases of hyperkalemia also we give nebulization salbutamol. So these are the main indication in case of bronchospasm, anaphylaxis and the hyperkalemia. Now when you give the nebulization of salbutamol what you have to monitor in the patient? You will always have to monitor the heart rate of the patient. You have to monitor the heart rate of the patient. You have to monitor the serum potassium of the patient. Okay. And then the warnings. In patients with, already the patients with tachycardia, you do not prefer giving this because it may cause more of palpitation and tachycardia. So, warning in case of tachycardia. In case of glaucoma patients, it can increase the intraocular pressure. So, you does not prefer giving salbutamol. When there is already hypokalemia, when the potassium is very much low, then you do not prefer giving it in case of hypokalemia. Also in cases of hyperthyroidism, hyperthyroidism, these are the contraindications. So, uh, the warnings are when the patient is already having a tachycardia, glaucoma, hypokalemia and hyperthyroidism. So, while giving you have to monitor for the heart rate and the serum potassium levels. Now, coming to the adverse effects. So, in the serious effects, what you will have in the serious, most common is the uh, your patient will be complaining of palpitations. Patient will have severe palpitations, tachycardia will be there, patient will have sweating, Okay, these are the main things, palpitation, tachycardia, sweating, patient will be complaining of tremors, 
okay this is one of the adverse effect then coming to the metabolic uh, thing what is that effect patient will have shift hypokalemia patient will have shift hypokalemia that is another adverse effect of this so uh, basically the main adverse effects are the palpitation uh, patient will have some chest pain sweating tremors tachycardia hypokalemia all these effect will be there for the patient so with this uh, i think i hope that you understood what are the main uh, what is the action of the um, salbutamol what doses we give what are the indication what you should monitor what are the warning signs and then what are the adverse effects thank you